Well, hello, and welcome to another edition of Cheap Ando Discount Wine Review. I am me. Today we are going to be taking a look at another fine selection from the Vandangi Company, or family as I like to call them. And today we are going to be looking at their Cabernet Sauvig, uh, uh, one of their reds. Um, this one was red, whereas the last one was a little bit more white, a lot more white to be honest, and the bottle was uh, not as green. Um, but as you can see, the bottle is essentially the same thing as the last bottle was, but this time, um, instead of saying, instead of uh, 20, 25 million when I sold to this, this one is full flavored and bold. Um, which is, is a claim. But I wouldn't necessarily say I agree with it. This one has has a real real red to it. It's not not a sweet red, more more of a not not a not a bit of red either. But just 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 a a, a red, kind of a kind of a flat red. It's got a lot of red taste without so much other. Um. And another another difference on the bottle is that this one. This one had, um, whereas last episode, if you have been keeping up, um, that one had, had, was, was, was a 12.5. This, this one has a, a, a 13 BV. So that, that's about 0.5 BV more than last time, which again, <laughs> considering it's the same price, it's sound pretty good to me. Um, as you may also be able to tell, I have had a little bit more than this one. Than I had of the last one, um, and just so so we're clear, this one started up here. So again, it comes in this much, um, and you know my feelings on that now. And the biggest, the biggest, biggest thing that I can say about, well, give me. It's got it's got got a bit of a stronger, but uh, less sweet flavor than the last one, and I I I personally prefer my wines a little bit more sweeter. Well, this one um has 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 uh it has a lot of palate, but it's not not palate that I like. Um, which which brought up some difficulties between me. Well, obviously not that many difficulties because I have gotten as far as I have, and will definitely by the end of the night have gotten through all of it. Because mm, palate is never the deciding factor. I think that's one thing that most wine aficionados overlook is that taste isn't everything. It's about the end result, and um near halfway the end result right now and I can tell you it's treating me pretty fine. As with the last one, this one is a, a six ninety nine orange. I still haven't come to the consensus here. I still don't know if this is orange orange or red, red, red again with a comparison. Um but for uh, for seven dollars or so it's 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 going to make 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 you inebriated and I think that's generally the point here right well, that's all I gotta say about this. It's, it's not the best, but it's not the worst, and the price is looking mighty fine. So, welcome. Uh, no, not welcome. Dang. Uh, so thank you for joining me on this, in the second episode of Cheap and or Discount Wine Review. I've been me, and you've been the viewer. And I appreciate it.